Hey, what's up? What's up, everyone? It was kind of a, a sleepless night just because the wind was so crazy. It was coming from up, up, like kind of up the slope there and then down, and it was just all night just hammering it. My truck was shaking, and I think I'm going to take my awning down today because that awning was like a sail last night, and uh, it, it like made my truck just rock back and forth it was flapping so hard down here that it was hitting the pole and the pole would 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 bang and then go bang 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 and it was like all night long like that so i thought man so i'm gonna definitely take down the awning before i go to bed this evening and uh, it'll be it'll be fine because without that it, i mean it'd just be wind so it'd be no big deal but um definitely going to um enjoy hanging out in this area it looks like there's tons of hiking that i can go to all these different mountains around here the mountaintops there's all these different mines around here i can go check out the ruins uh for like different different mining ruins and different cabins i, I passed two different cabins on the way up and there was that cabin yesterday where we were purifying the water which was awesome and then uh there's um, some lakes on the other side of the of like the mountain range here so i'm gonna look on my gps and see if i can find routes to maybe go over there and fly fish and uh, this is just, this is amazing back in here. I mean, bristlecone pines that are, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 years old. I don't know how old they are here, but, you know, they've they've documented that one um, that is over somewhere in Europe, I think, that was like, it's like 4,800 years old for a tree. It's the oldest living organism, like, known on Earth, which is pretty amazing. So um, it's cool to be next to them here and look at them because they've, they've just, you could tell the wood is just, it's just super hardy and it's like, it's kind of, they're kind of twisted. Like all the bases are twisted a little bit and you can just, it just looks like, like father time has, has, uh, definitely left its, its, its print on him, you know, on those trees. So it's pretty cool, but I'm just out of it today. Cause I'm so tired. I um, didn't, like I said, I didn't sleep at all last night. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe I can get a nap today or something like that with this wind that's coming through here. It keeps it nice and cool. That's the thing about camping up high is a lot of people don't like because it because it, it's windy, but I like it because it's windy because it because it keeps things cool and then also it keeps all the bugs away because they can't fly in the in the um, high winds. So I think we're gonna chill in here for a little bit longer and then uh, my buddy Tyler he's still sleeping, but he should be up here in a bit and then probably get up and go hike around and go check out some of the stuff around here and familiarize myself with this camping area a little bit more because I want to be here for. For a little while this place is really awesome and the views last night the sunset was insane so looking forward to, to a few more of those and i try i crashed my drone and i i did it at the last site i was meaning to go up and i went straight into my truck just full speed and just was sitting there just and hit the wrong one so i gotta order a new drone and um then i can you know keep on getting this aerial footage which i want to get for y'all so but we're gonna get our day started here in a second all right, so we got a little bit of an issue here at this awesome campsite. There's a forest fire somewhere in the area and it's blowing a ton of smoke in. I didn't sleep at all last night because I couldn't breathe. And I'm having a hard time breathing this morning. So I packed up and we're gonna head out and we're gonna go into town and figure out where this fire is at and where the smoke is going. And then we're gonna go in the opposite direction because I won't be able to stay up here. And we can come back here at a later date. Um, but it's just that I could smell it this morning when I got up and I, I thought, the, 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 the you know there's no fire I don't I didn't have a campfire or nothing like that what's what's that smell and then I started noticing that if you look um, over this way you'll see it's just all cloudy and like usually we can see the mountains back here and all this stuff and it's all socked in so I gotta get out of here so we're gonna head to town and uh, get stuff and then move on move on What's up, baby girl? What you doing down there? You want to come out here? You want to go around the river? Let's go check it out. That's right, we got this new campsite. 
What's up everybody? Uh, I had to move from that other spot because there are a bunch of forest fires going on here in Colorado and the smoke was just coming in like crazy yesterday morning and so um, I didn't get any sleep for the last two nights because I can't really breathe that much with the, with the smoke in the air. So I ended up leaving that high altitude location next to those really cool bristlecone pines and I came down to an area about 70 miles south of where I was and I'm camping next to this really great stream. I want to show you the campsite real quick here. It's real nice. So I've got just my truck parked right in here. It's pretty much shade all day long from these huge aspen trees here. But there is a little bit of sun that hits when the when the it, it hits like it's just getting ready to hit this open spot from here to there. It's about a two hour gap. And right there it just bakes the side of this truck because I've probably camped here before. And so if I put up this little tarp, you know, this is a tarp that I'll put over the back here. It's just a real easy tiny tarp to work with. Put it up over here. Secure it with your, you know, uh, hiking poles. That makes a really great shade. And that way the interior here doesn't get all um, all hot. And, and what I'm gonna do today is I actually wanna, I'm gonna load up this Blue Eddy AC200. I'm gonna load it up with every single device that I have. And we're gonna do um, a, a load test with it. And I'm gonna kinda show you how I can power Nomad Life. Because I, what I was going to do was I was gonna have it power all the power tools to rebuild the interior of my truck, but I can't get over to my storage container now to, to dump my front seat in there and, and keep it. And so I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait to do all that stuff until these fires settle down. So in the meantime, what we'll do is we'll do a load test with all the stuff I have. I'm gonna do the fridge. I'm gonna do every single electronic device that I have. I'm gonna try to do them all at the same time. I've even got an extension cord if, uh, if we need to do extra plugs. And then I've also got this battery. I've still, I'm still using the 150. And so this battery here, uh, I think it pulls about 160 watts. We're gonna, we're gonna put that on there as well. So we're gonna load all these different devices on there, the computer, all the different battery banks that I have, this big solar generator, solar st power station. We're gonna load it all on the AC200 uh, there, and we're gonna see how it works. So before we do that though, we're gonna do a camp tour. So let's go. Okay, so the one thing I really like about this site is that it's usually pretty hot down in this area where I'm at, except for down in this site, which, uh, come down here, baby girl. You see we come up here, it's all arid and everything around here. So it's pretty hot, but you come down here, it's at this little oasis. And it's kind of a little bit of a slope to the left, and only big enough for like one vehicle to come down in here. So you can come in, you're right next to the stream. Awesome cold plunge right there. And there's another one too around the corner, but you get a little fire pit here. You know, when, when there's not a fire ban, you can do that. Um, but these huge, huge aspens, like I was saying, for shade. And then you can you can string up a hammock between this tree and that tree there, which I've done before. And then you just hang out right here, right next to your camp, and you're good to go. And you can kind of keep an eye on everything. Um, over here is where the other cold plunge pool is. And this is my favorite cold plunge pool. This this pool is awesome. You come right through here, down in this section. And then here's the pool right here. It's pretty, it's pretty deep, so you can get, you can sit down all the way right there, and then the water is just rushing in on you. And so that's that's just really refreshing when you're able to hit that. So I mean, literally, I'm standing here in my truck right here. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven paces away from my truck to a my favorite you know cold plunge so i mean i i just love being here and and um gonna work on some stuff here for the next couple days doing this ac 200 review today and just loading that up for blue eddy you know i gotta say i'm really impressed with that company blue eddy you know when they contacted me about i don't know i guess it was almost a year ago i didn't know much about them you know i i, I knew that they were new on the scene i had heard about them but i i, I didn't have any experience um, i'm re really pleased with the 150 that i have and it's worked great. I mean, it's really clean power. When I charge it off my solar and everything, I get I get more watts coming into it than it's actually rated on my on my panel, which means it's just a real clean intake. And so I'm really excited to review the AC200 because they made some upgrades to the battery and mainly like to the displays to the display thing. So you really have tons of information at your fingertips, so you know exactly how your battery is performing. So you don't have to worry about your solar station going down and your power going down. So. Um, so I'm gonna do a cold plunge real quick and then we're gonna hop into this and start doing the, the battery load. Mm -hmm. 